What is up guys, today we have a booster box of Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge and we are going for the Redemption. Alright, so we opened up one of these before, it was one of the first videos I did on this new channel. We did not do very well. The main reason we didn't do very well is because I got it at Locals, which they charged $80 plus tax. I'm giving this one a chance again by ordering it online, I got this for $62 plus tax on TCG Player. $60 or $80, it's kind of irrelevant. It's basically going to be Access Code Talker or Starlight, or we will not be able to get our value back and the redemption will have failed. But percentage-wise, I think this box is definitely going to do better, mostly because I paid $20 less for it. Let's pop it open. Real quick, before I get too far into it, I wanted to say that the giveaway is going to be Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. It is a sealed promo card. Pretty cool. As always, to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like, comment, and be a subscriber. The pool for the first set of giveaways is coming up really soon, and then after that, it'll be every five videos instead of every ten. Okay, let's section this off. We'll just get right into it. Get this bad boy open. I do like a lot of the cards in here. Okay, lighting has been fixed, but the thing is, it's like a couple feet behind me and directly ahead, so I don't like that it shows up right there. But then the secondary light is back here in this corner, so I don't know, I'm going to have to figure out my lighting situation. Raijin, the Breakbolt Star, G Golem Rock Hammer, and an Advanced Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. And another reason I'm not too mad about buying this is because... The fact that you get four ultras and a secret in every pack, it's really good for like shinies and stuff. If you're craving some shinies or want to fill out a binder, for 60 bucks you can get all kinds of cards. Morphtronic Impact Return. Advanced Dark. Ooh, Artemis. The Magistus Moon Maiden. That's not bad. If I remember correctly, it's, it's over a dollar. Not a lot of cards in this set are over a dollar or really, much, really, really worth anything, to be honest. Token Collector. G Golem Pebble Dog and a Koki Mirror Supplier. But there's some cool older stuff and like this card. I love the art on this card. Performer Pal Odd Eye Seer. Performer Pal was insane before the emergency ban list back in Bosch days actually came out. Morphtronic Impact Return and a Sapphire Pegasus. Blackwing's doing really good. Toolbox. And a Selene. This is, I think it's either the second or third most expensive secret. Access Code Talker is number one, so I'm not sure where that one places. But hopefully we can get a Starlight. I've never touched Held or anything. Never seen one in person. Got a Emerald Tortoise. Todoroki. And a Doodle Beast. And the art on that's really cool. Another Raijin, Toon Harpy Lady, and a Clockwork Knight. If I do the budget deck series that I'm thinking about doing, uh, Harpies are definitely going to be on there, even though a couple of them are a little expensive. Gravity Balance, and an Artemis. That's Artemis number two. But if you have any budget deck ideas, let me know. I mean, there's a lot of good archetypes that are really cheap. And it just takes adding maybe like 20 bucks of staples. And you can make a pretty solid deck. I've been testing a lot of them out on Master Duel, but that's it's a different format. Dice Dungeon. Another Doodle Beast. The first box, I don't think we opened any of these. Running out of space. Pull that up right there. We got a gadget box, fret for patchwork, and number 100 Numeron Dragon. Dragon Nails, I love that. That's a cool art. Is this card actually any good? Extra attack, recycles, and can't be destroyed by card effects. It's not bad. But if you have archetypes in mind, let me know. Obviously, I'm going to do a, uh, a Trap Tricks 
because you buy three structure decks and then add some staples in. The goal is to do under $100. Or should it be under $75? Or should the budget decks be under $50? I don't know. Just let me know what you think I should do as far as price of that goes. G Golem, Todoroki, and a Black Wing. Vio of the Element of Honor. Moving through. Chico and Pebble Dog. Got a gadget box. Revived King Hadas. Hadas. Hades. Pop this open. Another Rajan. That's, that's probably two or three. It's at least three. It might be four. Two and a half Lady. This is the second one of her. We got a Cobalt Eagle. Pop this pack open real quick. Gravity Balance. Evan Dread Savior and a Koki Miro Supplier. That's the second one of him. Try not to reveal too much. G Golem, Crystal Heart. Advanced Dark and a Sapphire Pegasus. Last box, I only got one of him. Advanced Dark, the second one of that. Morphtronic Impact Return. And an Evil Twin Keysicle. This is an amazing card. The art is just so good. And I love Evil Twin stuff. I think I might make a deck and do a profile on it just for me. If it ends up being budget, or if I can make it budget, that would be really good also. Evil Twin. Amber Mammoth. Also, I'm not sure what place. I'm assuming the Starlight, if there is one, would take place of the the Secret Rares. But I'm checking the back cards just to be sure. G Gollum, Token Collector, Odd Eyes Persona. Blackwing, Simon the Poison Wind. A Toolbox. Number F0. Got a Dream Cicada, G Golem. I wonder how many of those we got. That's insane. Then a number two, Ninja Shatter Mosquito. I just checked real quick. So we got three of these so far. It seems like we're getting a playset of a lot of stuff. Oh, so I'm also thinking about doing mystery packs of my own, my own Dreamer mystery packs, just for giveaways. No, not selling them or anything like that, but uh, just for giveaways and have the value be like, I don't know, four or five bucks, but maybe do for like 25 or so and have one of them with like an insanely good card like a triple tactics thrust or throw something like that in there token collector amethyst cat i think that would be cool for a giveaway because then you get cards from different sets it's fun you get the experience of opening it and uh, for bigger videos i could do like three black wing and then obviously i'll tell you guys what's in them Four valves on ice, and then an emerald tortoise. Not looking good for starlights or access code talker, so I think this one's going to be a bust. The other one might actually have higher value than this one. Rainbow Bridge, Heroic Call, In Shuffle. To be honest, I don't remember what I what all I pulled in the other one. I don't know if I I think I did pull an access code because I made a short about it. I think I did pull an access code talker. This one I did not. Dyna Tank, Morphtronic, and G Golem. Invalid Dolman. That dude's crazy. Dream Shark. So there we go, guys. That is this opening. And I'm going to consider this. I haven't done the numbers yet. You guys already know what it is. I haven't done the numbers. But I guarantee, actually, I already know it is a fail. Which only can mean one thing. We have to buy another one and give it another shot. Even though that's the case, I probably, actually I know I'm not going to upload it. I'll still record it, but I'm not going to upload it unless A, it wins, or B, I pull a starlight. Which would mean it wins. So unless it wins, then I'm not going to upload it. But I will give it another shot, maybe two or three. Maybe I'll buy a case. 
Mostly because I love that it's only high rarity cards and the cases are like dirt cheap. So if I could get a dirt cheap Starlight, my first Starlight ever, that would be insane. I don't care what Starlight it is, I'm just gonna grade it and put it in the background and that's gonna be that. But anyway, if you wanna enter the giveaway to get this juicy sealed liquid soldier, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.